So I didn't want to go hunting for um, iron for uh, my stream because I felt like it would take forever. So I got all the iron, but I'm going to show you. I did play some in uh, the biome you do get it from. <laughs> so instead of looking out for it, I think I did my math right, but I need like 20 something iron for everything to make. But I'll still show you the biomes. I don't know the real name, so just bear with me. I'll give you what I call it. But you will find iron in what I call the bear biome. Bear biomes usually always have this brown looking dirt, um, even on the PC version. I don't actually remember if iron's just sitting out there on the PC version like this, but I know on this one it does. So you go to these biomes and you could just find right here called use iron. Bring this back to your base, be very happy if you find it. I would recommend bringing a backpack with you so you could collect a lot, um, a basket or a horse. But if you don't have any of that, uh, at least a basket. <laughs> and you're also going to need flat rocks. So I wanted to put a flat rock out here to show you. You can also find flat rocks in this biome. You can also find flat rocks in the desert biome too. But I don't I don't have one of those close by. So I just stuck one here to show. But um, kindling does not last forever when you have a fire. It will keep going out. So you want to try to get the... Uh, I don't actually know what the, the wood's called. I'm just going to call it big wood. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first we gotta start a fire speaking of a fire and we're gonna make the basic tools first one is axe then a hoe then a shovel doesn't really matter which order well axe should always be first technically the smithing hammers first but after the smithing hammer so at this point you should all have your bowls and your plates um set up from the last tutorials and everything you did for your camp because foraging should be one of the last things you do when you're basic eve. So start your forge with your long shaft. And then take your little used adobe and place it on the fire like this. So this will make a firing adobe kin. And even though I have thousands of piles of charcoal, I'm still going to take one out just to show you your step by step of what you have to do. So now you're going to wait for the adobe to stop smoking and that'll be your indication that you can take the charcoal out and you're going to use that later on to put it in a bowl to help your, your iron like melt <laughs> you'll see so here you go now you got nice charcoal in your in your forge take it out say i don't have any of that pretend it does not exist so you're going to rest it wherever you have room, because if you're on public server, it might be a little more chaotic. People aren't that organized. Oh, see? See how quick the fire is going to die? That's why our goal is to get an axe. Alrighty. <laughs> we, good thing I got all this kindling. I knew it was going to do this. Alright. Yeah, make sure you have a whole army of kindling ready when you start forging. Unless you're a forging master, <laughs> then you don't have to worry too much. So then start it again, and you're going to cover it once again. But this time, keep the charcoal in your forge. Because you're going to need the coals to start, um, to start cooking your iron. So here, while you wait, this is when you start wanting to set it up. So I usually like putting a flat rock right next to where um, the forge is. Then you're going to need one bowl, one plate. You can technically set out three bowls, three plates, four bowls, four plates. It all depends on how fast you are in foraging. Uh, but for tutorial's sake, I'm just gonna do one at a time. So it's okay if I'm a little slower. And now you're going to remove this. I like to put it behind my forge. And you're going to grab your bellows as I taught in tutorial three place it on there so now it will say forge with charcoal don't turn it on yet i i would put the charcoal that you put on the ground into the bowl first like this because you're gonna want to put this iron in there once you cook it into the bowl you'll see what i mean once i start i'm gonna eat pie <laughs> my goal is not to die this time i can do this 
And we're going to make this fire big again because it's already dying. Also, when you're making the smithing hammer, have a rock close by too. Because when you don't have your hammer yet, you need a rock to make the hammer. So that, that's the setup for the first forge. So now take your long shaft. And now you're going to warm this up. Go grab your tongs. Grab a piece of iron. Put it into the fire and it's going to turn into this big red thing. Place it onto the flat rock. Grab your round rock and hit it. This is timed because if you wait too long, when it's in that red round looking thing, it's going to turn gray. And you don't want it turning gray because then it's not going to give you the watt iron. Excuse my <laughs> wording, but that's what it looks like to me. So now you're going to take it, put it into this beautiful bowl. Now you're going to cover up this bowl right here. And now you have unforged steel crucible. So we're getting there. Again, this is just repeating the step you did before. Put this into your forge and block it with the adobe again don't take the charcoal out because you have charcoal resting around and now it's just a waiting game this is when you should eat pie and make sure your fire doesn't keep dying <laughs> that's why once you get your smithing hammer definitely make your axe first because <laughs> look i've already gone through almost two piles that's a lot of, that's a lot of kindling. Um, my girl's like, I'm going to put this rock back right here. <laughs> All right. Find my bellows wherever I threw it. Way over here. And now we're going to cook the plate in the bowl. Or AKA, we're going to cook the crucible. So you're going to bring it over here warm it up and now rest it on the ground this is why you want to try to have free space around you as much as you can because trust me you're going to need it and then you're going to sit here and keep tapping it until the plate lets you take it off and now you got this beautiful ingot if you have enough time you can put it back on the tongs put it onto the fire till it turns into a nice red ingot and this is when you're going to hit it with a stone Again, if it cools down, you're just going to have to reheat it up. But we had enough time. But don't don't worry if, if you mess up a couple times. Like, say, if it cools down or the round area turns gray. Uh, you can always, like I said, just reheat it and things will be fine. So now you have the hammerhead. So, <laughs> as you can see, I prepped for this. What you're going to want to do... You're going to want to have a small, I think a small shaft for the hammer. So you're going to find a maple tree. You're going to get a straight stick and then whack it twice. And then you're going to combine them. And look at that, guys. You got yourself the smithing hammer. A.K.A. your access into all the smithing you ever want to do. <laughs> well, at least the start of it. Okay, now you don't need your round rock anymore. Uh, once you have your smithing hammer, you're good to go. You only need the round rock to make the smithing hammer. But once again, you're gonna repeat the process of the first one. Hopefully my fire doesn't die. Yay, look at that, I had time. Woo. Cover it. You're gonna put some charcoal in your bowl. You're going to repeat the process, but this time we're going to make an axe. We're going to grab this. Even though my health is doing well, I don't trust myself because I can't hear. <laughs> my fire. All right. It's okay. Axe is next. <laughs> my lady's like, I want to grab everything but what I need. There we go. Perfect. Uh, where's my bellows? Where'd I, 
Where did I throw it? Way down here this time. Okay. <laughs> Put it on there. Oh, I was so close. Once again, put some iron on your... Oh, we do need the round rock still. I'm dumb. Because you need to whack this. <laughs> Always keep a round rock in the forge. Don't listen to me. Don't ever put it back. You need it. Now put the um, watt iron into the bowl. Close it with the plate. And I have time to cook it, actually. Warm it up. This takes a few seconds for it to cool down. So you can run around and get some food. Or keep your fire going. You know what? We're going to move all these rocks. Because... <gasps> what I do? <laughs> you saw nothing. Can I not pick them all up? I can't. I guess my girl's not that strong. We'll move them over here. That way I have just a little bit more room to work with. Here we go. Eat some pie. <laughs> Now we're going to warm it up again. But yeah, once you once you get used to foraging, you'll be a lot quicker than how I'm going. But again, I'm just teaching, so I'm trying to go slow to make it as easy as possible. So this should be nice and cooled down now, so you can get your ingot out of there. And while I wait, I like to try to put it on the tongs. And if you want to keep it on the tongs, just grab a different item and it will rest down there with it. Now we're gonna get some more kindling because my fire is low. Put it on our fire. All right, everything's good. Put that behind. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna start this. So now that you warm this up, put it on the flat rock, but instead of getting a round rock, use your smithing hammer and hit it once. So if you highlight this, see how it says hot steel axe? Don't hit it again. This is going to make your axe. And see how the fire's still going? If I had like three flat rocks together, I could keep going and making more stuff. But again, I'm trying to be a little slower for, for tutorial reasons. All right, eat some pie. So now that it's nice and cooled down, see how it says get a long straight shaft to combine it? So that's what we're going to do. Going to hit a straight stick and combine it. Look at that, guys. We got the life of the fire right here. This, even in the PC version, you got to make sure you make your axe first. Because you really want to make sure you keep that wood. Especially in the PC version because um, <laughs> babies get a lot colder in that game. So I usually like chopping down these guys. Um, I don't think it takes food in this one. No, PC version, certain trees will eat away your food. So the only one that doesn't is your is pine trees. But this game, it doesn't care. This version, I should say. And what I'm looking for is this used firewood. If I put this on the fire now... Oops. Oops. <laughs> There we go, third time's a try. If I put this on the fire now, it's not going to die as quickly. Look at that. Look at how it's nice and hot now. That is a large fire. Not a medium fire anymore. So I'm going to bring a couple pieces over. I don't need all the pieces, but... I, you know, it's good to have a few. I don't know how long the fire is going to last now, but definitely a lot longer than it's been. These right here... Say you're running low on kindling. I'll show you a little trick that you can do. So take your axe. And you're going to hit. Hit this right here. Is that called a butt log? I guess it is. <laughs> hit the butt log and turn it into these wood blocks. And some people will be like, well, why'd you just do that? Well, once I find my hatchet, watch this. So instead of using like one curved stick and straight stick, now you got four little blocks that you can turn into kindling. Again, it's all about saving your resources, so it's pretty neat. 
All right. I'm going to eat some pie. Yay. All right. So the next thing we're going to make is a steel hoe. Um, steel hoes are better than the basic hoe, which I think I have a basic hoe over here. Let me look. Yeah, so this is your basic hoe, your stone hoe. Problem with the stone hoe is it dies very, very quickly. Um, so you want to upgrade. So once again, we're going to repeat the process that we've been doing. We're going to put kindling into your forge. We're going to set this on fire and set this on fire. And then we're going to block it. And then while you're waiting, try to make yourself some room. And put some charcoal into the bowl. Get your round rock ready, because that's your next step. Find your tongs, because I didn't know where I put them. Grab a piece of firing, put that on the ground, and now you just sit pretty. <laughs> or you go eat some pie, which I'll go eat some pie. There we go. Hey, now I need that. There we go. Find where you threw your bellows. Place it on there. Beautiful. So here we go. Once again, warm this up. Turn it into a big red meatball. Smack the meatball. Turn it into a gray thing. <laughs> Throw a gray thing into bowl. And now put this on top of bowl. And now you're going to cook it. It's like making spaghetti. Oh, poor song. Oh, it just wanted to reset. All right. But yeah, as you can see, basic foraging is pretty um, repetitive once you get how to do it. Because basically all the basic things are made the same way. Until you get to the chisel, I believe that's what it's called. Then we need to go hunt a goose. But... <laughs> We're going to show you the three basic ones first until we get to that. Get your ingot out. Rest in peace, sir, duckins, in the future. Smack that again. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to get this all set up. Boink. Nice. While I wait, I'm going to go pick up. <laughs> Grab myself more pie. I'm doing pretty good. I think my what's my girl at? She is 34 years old and I haven't died yet. <laughs> That's a new record. Oh no, I need this plate. See, the fire only now got a lot smaller. That was a lot more time. Let's go grab another one if I have one. Here we go. Place it here. Beautiful. Alright, so now we are going to make the hoe. So to make the hoe, you're going to warm this up, place it on the flat rock again, turn it into a hoe, an axe, but then hit it again, and see how it changed? If you highlight it, it says steel hoe blade. So remember to hit your ingot twice to get the hoe. Once the axe, twice the hoe. Now that's nice cooled off, we're going to go over here. Hit this into a long shaft. And look at that, guys. We got ourselves a steel hoe. Amazing. That's going to make farming so much easier for your whole village. And it's going to last longer and it's not going to break as easily. So the next thing you're going to want to make... I mean, I could technically go in order, but... The chisel, I think, is before the shovel. And honestly, I feel like the shovel should be the third one. Because you can bury your dead people with that. Or you can <laughs> make giant pits. Get dirt. There's a lot of things you could do with the shovel. <laughs> Use it to make fences. So, I say shovel would be your third choice. There's no, there's no really exact order besides making your axe. But, these are, this is the order I like to do. I find it the most useful. So while I wait, I'm going to get some charcoal into my bowl. 
eat some pie. And another thing, if you get really desperate, I don't recommend doing this, but if you highlight this, you can turn this into kindling as well. So say you're running low on it and you don't have any butt logs, you can turn the, um, the big firewood into it, but I really, really don't recommend you use firewood for kindling. I'd rather you have an axe, turn butt logs into blocks, or go out there in the woods and find <laughs> sticks. <laughs> But I just thought I would show you so you just knew. Okie dokie, here we go. Let's see how fast I can do this. <laughs> I'll only mess up a little bit. Turn it into a meatball, turn it into that, put it in there. Well. <laughs> we already screwed that up. Open! Let's see if I can get the ingot before the fire goes out. She's doing... Hurry, lady, put the bowl down! Oh, so close. <laughs> that was pretty impressive, though. If I didn't mess up and throw the tongs across the world like that, I probably would have been able to cook it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get our bowls set up correctly. Beautiful. Eat some pie while we wait. See my girl's age. 38. She she still has some time. So it might take two lives to show everything, but that's okay. I'd rather show everything you can do for basic foraging anyways. Yay, here we go. So now we are going to make the shovel. So take your ingot, heat it up, and the shovel, you're gonna have to hit it quite a few times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The little thing that looks like a half a pizza slice, that's your shovel. If you highlight it, it lets you know it's a shovel head. But yeah, make sure you go slow at first if you don't know where everything is when you're making stuff in the forge. Because you can easily skip the thing you want or create the thing you don't mean to. But yeah, shovels are good for potatoes, fences, dirt, basically Oh, everything. <laughs> everything that you think that you wouldn't need a shovel for. <laughs> I don't have any dead bodies to show you how to make a grave. But I'm sure since I'm going to be reincarnated soon, I'll show you how to do graves too. Alright. Oh, didn't watch my fire, so it died. So now we're going to go in order. I don't know the order by heart, but let's see what the third thing is. It's going to be a surprise for me too. I think it's the chisel, but I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I forgot to, did I forget to say? Put a long shaft on shovel to make shovel. <laughs> Just in case I forgot to say it. But yeah, well, while we wait... I don't think I have any one of those things. Let's see. I did have one a long time ago, but we have to make a steak. So to make a steak, hit a branch three times, turn it into a long, short, and there you go. You get this this interesting little thing right here that's a steak. Um, you can use this to make the graveyard later with the shovel. So I'll put these two together while we wait and get that all set up. You're also going to need a round rock over there too. So we might as well put a round rock over there. And you're going to need a flat stone. There you go. That's all set up now. Because uh, bearing people in this one is a lot different than it is in the PC one. A lot harder. Or more tedious, not really hard. 
All right, let's see what um, the third one is. Oh, I forgot to put charcoal in my bowl. That's okay. Warm this up. And what I can do, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too fast. I was gonna put three things down and warm up a whole bunch, but I don't want to start getting it too confusing. Repeat the process. As you can see, the process is the same every single time. You'll be a forge master by the end of this tutorial. And even I will be a forge master. Get my ingot, put it on here. Grab my smithing here. Nah, we're gonna grab the bowl, place it way over there. Put that there. All right, this time let's not forget some charcoal. There we go. Eat some pie. Delicious. Go grab more pie. <laughs> Put the rock. I guess the rock will be fine right there. Alright. It's like a gotcha. We're not gonna know what we're gonna get until we cook it. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see what the third one is. One, two, three. We got the chisel. That's what I thought. Hey, I guess I really am starting to memorize it. <laughs> Now we gotta wait for it to cool down. And I guess while we wait, we might as well cook another one of these. There we go. Nice. Wow, look at how much kindling I've gone through. <laughs> Good thing I prepped. <laughs> All right, so the chisel. Why this this music just doesn't want to stay and it's gonna have you know it's probably gonna do a commercial. It is. We'll pretend you don't hear that. Alright, so the chisel is really good for building the walls and the floors. It's also you need it for the um I forget what that the filer, but we also need a goose. I'll make sense later on. You also use it as it shows to uh smash big rocks in half. It's used for blades. There's a lot of things it's used for. I can't really explain it without it getting a bit overwhelming um, and confusing. So we're not we're not gonna go into too many details, but just know you made yourself your chisel and say you don't know what that is, make it anyways and put it on the ground somewhere until you <laughs> you have all the all the basic items made and then you can work with it. But chisels are good, you need them. You don't need a lot, but <laughs> you need one. Okay. See how my fire's doing. Oh, we need to go get a piece of wood. La 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 la. Also, I made the axe. And I forgot to warn you guys. Do not go axe crazy. You do not want to kill all of your trees. A lot of people who play this game, and even the PC one I've noticed, they go on like a tree craze, and they murder all their trees, and then they're like, we got no wood, we got no branches. And I just sit there like, well, you didn't plant any more trees to replace the trees you killed. It's like deforestation in real life. Once you kill it, boom, your resource dead. <laughs> Make sure you plant trees if you're going to kill trees. And some trees, fine, whatever, murder them, but definitely don't kill your straight... What am I doing? Your, um, your straight sticks right away. And there's just a lot of things you don't want to do. It's hard for me to focus, talk, and <laughs> forge at the same time, apparently. Look, we're going to turn these into these while we wait. We'll save a little bit of time. Can stack them. There we go. Oh, I ran out. That's okay. We got two going now. But yeah, try not to kill all your trees, especially at the beginning. Just get the amount of wood you need. And once you get shears, then 
and you plant more trees, whatever, then go on a deforestation craze, but wait for that. <laughs> I say if you want to kill anything, kill these guys right up here. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, the bald suppressed tree. Because you can, especially if you're around the swamp, you'll find a lot of those in the swamp. I still recommend to keep at least one, but go ahead and murder as much as you want of those. Okay. <laughs> and if you want, kill kill a lot of your pine at least, but keep one again. Okay, my kindling's getting farther and farther away from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we'll see what the fourth one is. I think I cooked this, right? Yeah. Okay, you want to see how old my lady is? Starting to become ancient. <laughs> That's okay. Ancient doesn't mean we can't work. We'll get this on the tongue. We'll get it nice and prepped. Where did I put my smithing hammer? Uh-oh. Well, it's way over there. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta move my pie. It's in the way. There we go. Might as well get this set up too while we wait. Nice. All right. So let's see what. I think it's the. Fourth one? No, fifth one. No, fourth one. I can math. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I forget how to pronounce this. Is this, this the thing with the A? <laughs> this is the ads. The ads. This is that thing. <laughs> this thing's good for, um, good for taking wooden floors out, uh, removing certain things, and um, I can demonstrate, I think, if I have a butt log somewhere. But while we're waiting, we might as well get this all prepped. Get nice and cooking. Again, once I can demonstrate what they do in another tutorial, things will make a lot more sense, but... For now, I'm showing you how to make them. Right? This also is going to be a long shaft. So if you highlight it, it says long straight shaft with this will create the beautiful ads. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. The ads, the ads, the fancy thing. <laughs> but this right here makes your fences. And to make a fence... I'll show you because I think I have enough straight sticks. Take your straight branches, turn them into long shafts like this. Then take this thing and whack it. And boom, look at that, guys. You got a fence kit. And with your shovel, I'll show you later how you can put your fences together. Fences are great for animals like sheep, cows, pigs, so on and so forth. So, and to keep people you don't want in out. But if they bring something to kill your fence, you're doomed. But <laughs> not everyone traveling is going to do that. And there's the phone version isn't too bad when it comes to griefers. So once in a while you get one. But it's, it's not as bad as it is on the PC sometimes. Okay. This should... Oh no, my fire! My girl's turning too old. She doesn't quite realize... <laughs> I think I ran out of those big butt logs. Not butt logs, the firewood though. I did. <laughs> oh no. I gotta go chop down another tree. We're off. Hmm, I think that's a rubber tree. No, it's not. Moik. I got another one right next to me, so. Actually, I think rubber's in the jungle. I don't know what I'm saying. Yay! There we go. Eat a pie. Definitely not wasting it. <laughs> there we go. And now we're going to see what the fifth one is. I, I don't remember how many there is. I think there was ten. Ten and all. I could be wrong, though. Okay, let's see if I could do this in time. 
long as I don't mess up, I think I got this. She's gonna do a little dance. Grab the ingot. Grab the tongs. Yay! All right, here we go. Woo. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. So this is the fro blade. Uh, this is good for hitting your butt logs uh, with a mallet. Speaking of, I think we can make the mallet. So this is telling you to get a short shaft. So come over here. Whack this twice. And you got yourself cushy a steel fro. So see how it's telling you to put the steel fro in a butt log? I believe I have a butt log I can do that with. Here's one. <laughs> Grab your butt log and place it on there. And then your character's gonna go, well now what? It's telling you to get a mallet. So click on the mallet. It's telling you to grab your ads thing and grab another butt log. Delicious berries. Oh gosh, there's a boar up there. I can't hear him, but I saw him. So now whack these two together and you got a mallet. And then bring your mallet and whack this. And look at that, guys. We got some boards. I believe that's what they're called. Yay! Boards are used for a lot of things. Making carts, making tables, making signs, making... <laughs> we That's everything. Making stuff for bricks. Um, in the future, you'll see. Making bridges. It's really cool. Okay. How old's my lady? I oh, don't know. We're getting up there. <laughs> One minute I'm going to turn all shrivelly and pruny looking. <laughs> that's okay. The prunier the better. Yay. You know what? While I'm waiting, let's try to bring some of this closer so I don't keep walking further and further away. I can't believe I've gone through all this. I can, but... <laughs> it's crazy. But at least my fire lasts longer, so I won't be going as through as quickly as I was. Okay. And if I have enough time, because she is going to die in like five minutes. <laughs> if I have enough time, I will see what the sixth thing is. Because we're about to go on a hunting trip because we need to and it will make sense once we start going on a hunting trip ah she didn't get too shrivelly she's good all right where's my pie delicious i'm also running out of coal so eventually i gotta make some oh no i have some more up there just kidding put this in here All right, here we go. Oh, no. My, my valuable time. And there goes my fire. I'll fix you after fire. My person's dancing. Boopa, 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 ba, boopa, boopa. She did it. Grab the ingot. Grab the ingot. Put it on the fire. Nice. All right, let's do our counting lesson. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, this right here is the filer. We can't do much with the filer until we go hunting. Because <laughs> we need to grease it up and then we need to chisel it. Basically, we need to file it down because it's not filed yet. <laughs> but a filer is used to um, make blade sharper. So to make a knife and to make your shears. So we can't do anything with this. So we're going to set it aside for now. I could go hunting. But my girl's getting old. She won't even need a berry because technically, <laughs> technically I'm about to lose that little block. So we're going to just forge till we die. So that's, that's our life right now. We're going to forge till we die. Keep a little fire going right now. Boink. 
Do I have any more? I do not. Okay. Whee. My bowl's reversed. Okay, can I eat this now? <laughs> okay, thank you. I don't know if I have any more logs. <gasps> ah! Sorry, guys. I saw a pig. I can't hear it, but I saw it. I gotta go way over here. There's no point of me wasting this log, though, this firewood, because I'm about to die. Ah, I'm going to waste it. Just kidding. Oh, no. That might have been a bad choice. I don't care. I'm just a little old granny. I can do what I want. So we might actually just make a bunch of... Uh... Oh, what am I doing? I need my bellows. There we go. Wish my rock was closer. I think I... Oh, no. There's too many things in my way. Well, I'm trying to say, I think I'm going to cook a couple of these. And so then when I come back, at least they'll be ready. But I ran out of room, so I'm messing up. Hopefully I can cook one more. There we go. Put that down. Yay. Cook till we die. <laughs> Might as well get it half prepped. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We have a couple bowls too. Let's prep these. Since you since you guys basically have seen the routine, um, I think I could go a little bit faster at this point. That way it's not so repetitive. Put this in there. Put this in there. Put this in here. I think I need one more. Yeah. Perfect. Let's see if I can cook all these before I pass out. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm already 59. Man, I look good for a 59-year-old. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. All right, Granny, bring these bowls over here while you wait. Got too many bowls over there at the moment. The more room, the better. Eat a berry. Blah, blah, blah. She can't eat the berry. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm not going to have the time. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Hurry, Granny. Hurry. Get it prepped. I don't have time to cook things. No. <laughs> oh, me die. So I guess we'll bury Jima later. So while, while I wait, I think baby should be okay for a couple seconds. I'll at least cook these. A lot of new members, too, tend to not stay near the fire. Stay near the fire if you're a baby, because your health depletes faster if you're running around. So, make sure you stay by that fire. Yay! <laughs> Alright, I think I cooked all these. Hopefully... Maybe Eternal can keep my fire going, too, while they're here. It'll make life so much easier if I don't have to <laughs> keep relying on this fire. Yeah, I don't have big sticks. I also... Nah, I guess I'm not hungry. Alright, let's get these out. You can also stack these, which comes in handy. There. Now I'm a little more prepared. <laughs> so this should go a little bit quicker. And I don't know where I'm at. I think I'm at six now or seven. We'll know by doing the counting game. All right. Oh, yeah. I was going to show you how to bury people. <laughs> we'll do it while we wait for this to cook then. Where's my pie? Where's my pie? I think my child's... Watch me have eaten the pie. I got to feed my baby. So you could technically feed their your kids until they're like five. So I kind of wasted by giving her a pie, but it's okay. <laughs> feed your kids. They die quicker than you, especially since we don't have clothes. So to bury people, you got to put their skeleton remains into a basket. On the PC one, you have to remove everything from the skeleton or you can't pick up the skeletons. On this one, it moves it for you. Grab your... Oh, yeah. Let me get the book out so you can see what I'm doing. 
grab your round rock and you're going to hit your stake I believe four times till it looks like a square so one two three four now you can do this two different ways you can take any hoe that you have and highlight your ground like this and then you're going to take your basket and grab the dirt out like this yeah poor jima she was a good old <laughs> Eternal. Ah, she's traumatized. Well, you're going to grab the soil with the basket like this and put it on the ground. And you're going to repeat that four times. But what's nice about having the shovel is you don't need the basket. Just grab your shovel and it just picks it up. It's so much quicker. All right, so that's nice and deep now. Take your bones. <laughs> Don't take your fence. Take your bones now. Shove them into this hole. And now you're going to bury them. Just, oh, just like so. I could use the shovel too and do this. But that breaks the shovel. So just use your basket at this point. So the grave's not done yet. What you need to do now is grab a flat rock and put it on top. Now you've properly buried someone. So if they did Lily in this game, they will respawn. And they'll be so grateful and happy. Um, but say you don't want the grave. It sucks because in the PC one you could just pick up the gravestone. This one you have to whack it with a shovel. Kind of a waste of resources but it is what it is. Just like in the PC one all you have to do is whack skeleton remains with a shovel and it buries them. So a little bit different as I said. We're going to keep my dead body there. <laughs> I mean, Jima's body. Oh, the little baby's making um, stick bread. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do that properly in the chef stream, but basically, you let your dough rise, and once it's risen, you can whack it with a stick and make stick bread. <laughs> They're gonna feed me. I appreciate it. <gasps> Why did I start that without my tongs? Oh, they're right there. All right, let's see what the next one is. Yeah, I don't have rice yet. I, have, I haven't taught it. I haven't taught rice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seventh one is a steel blade. So we can't do much with the steel blade. Uh, I mean, we could do the track kit but we're not gonna we're not mining that's way in the future guys proud of my baby <laughs> they're gonna be chef and do a lot they're helping me out a lot that's i appreciate it but we can't do much with the steel blade at the moment because we need to chisel it see how this steel file turns it into a steel blade steel blade makes you a knife and you need two of those blades to make your shears. I, so we got to go hunting for that. So just set it aside for now. It's useless. <laughs> but you still need to craft it. So make sure you craft it. All right. So we're at, I'll make mm, I'll make 3 of them because we technically need three blades and all to show everything we need to make. One for the knife, and as I said, two for the shears. There goes my fire. If if Eternal is watching the stream, can you get me some big firewoods, please? <laughs> I'ma need them. My fire looks pretty sad. Alright, so let's make our two blank blades right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can move that. If I had two flat rocks, this would be quicker. <laughs> well, we'll still cook it while we wait. There we go. Boink, boink. Oh, I already cooked it. What am I doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. 
So we're going to set these aside. We already know what the 8 hit is. If you hit your iron 8 times, it turns into a shovel. So we don't we don't need to do that. I don't actually know how many things there are. So let's cook one more time and see if there's a ninth. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a gotcha for me. I know what everything does, but I don't remember the... I don't remember how many there is. Oh, thank you, Baby Ranger. I appreciate it. Baby Ranger is a hero. They're legend. Oh, no, I ran out of kindling. <laughs> Uh-oh. We might have to go get a butt log. And I'm also really low on coal. I have one more, and I think that should be okay for now. Oops. So we're going to grab my coal, put it in one of these goals. We're going to see what the ninth one is. If there is a ninth one. Okay, while we're at it, we're going to go grab... We got a lot of straight sticks. Like I said, I don't usually like using them for kindling, but I have so many, I, I over-prepped with them. Which is not a bad thing. Definitely not. I mean, they're good to have around for fences, so maybe I didn't over-prep. I was just preparing myself <laughs> for animals in the future. That's all. You know what? I have an idea while we're waiting. I'm gonna put this here. We need this to move these bowls. There. We're gonna cook. <laughs> we're gonna cook three of them. And this time we're gonna do it right. Hopefully. One. Two. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Did it. Now we just wait for that to cool down. Put this here. Put that there. Because I don't have any more coal, so... It wouldn't make sense to uh, get bowls out for that at the moment. Here, let's use our curve, our curve sticks. We are actually, you know what? I think the saw might be, no. <gasps> Do I need another? I might need another blade. <laughs> well, while I think things in my brain right now, I think I'm okay. I'm not gonna make another one until I, I know for sure. <laughs> Cause we still need to make a saw, but we're gonna see if there is a ninth one. Oh, hold on, guys. The commercial's trying to pop up, so music's going to disappear for a couple seconds. Because we don't need no commercial. Mmm, eggies. <laughs> oh, we need a knife. <laughs> well, rip eggs, I guess. I'll just eat, I'll just eat some stick bread. Who needs eggs? <laughs> I got a little too excited for eggs. Oh, that's too funny. Get my tongs ready. Oh, I already cooked it. My brain's like, it doesn't want to function, apparently. Yay. Flint on eggs. Oh, I always thought you needed just a knife. Never mind. As I said, there's things that Eternal knows that I don't know. So if I highlight the eggs... Oh yeah, I guess it really is just flint. See, I would have I would have made a knife and then I would have tried cutting, <laughs> cutting the eggs with the knife and it would have worked. I think I'm thinking of bread. Curse that bread. I need to get some more firewood. A butt log. Good. Let's bring this back with me. We're not going to use it, but and eh, we'll just put a kindling. We we should be okay. All right, the commercial's gone now, so let's put this back. You know, this says it's supposed to be ad-free, but it has not been ad-free. It's royalty-free. Oh, I'm not hungry. Thank you, though. <laughs> Child, mommy's not hungry. I'm going to whack you with a stick. <laughs> Get away, child. <laughs> Where's my hammer? 
<laughs> That's not the right hammer. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the pickaxe. Okay. I think the pickaxe might be the last one. Um, pickaxes are great for mine. So, but that's going to be way later in the future, guys. Mining is, can be kind of complicated. This game, I don't think the PC version has it, but you can make bear cave mines. Um, again. <laughs> I mean, there, there is a similar mining if you find a little thingy, but I'm not going to confuse you guys. But just know, you got this for mining. So, woohoo! Oh, wrong one. Woohoo! <laughs> but it's also good if you want to move your adobe so say i hope she's not using it say you just really really hate this adobe and you're like i hate the spot of this oven smack it with your mind and it will turn it into a crumbling mush <laughs> poor chef baby ranger but now, just go over here, and you're going to grab some water. Wherever it may be. Here we go. Boink. Spoink. Oh, there we go. I couldn't see for a second. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to make Baby Ranger not so sad. So just water it, and it will turn them back into used the Dolby. And say you just want to move it somewhere else, like way up here, way down there, you can. And then just hit it with a rock again. I'm not going to move it, it's fine there. But just wanted to show. Alright. Now, I don't think there's a tenth thing, I'll be honest with you guys. I think that's all of them. I'm starting to think you need at least um, four blank blades. One for the saw, two for the shears, and one for the knife. Oh, yes. Thank you for recycling. We do need to recycle. If you can, Eternal, can you make me one more blank blade? Because <laughs> that would be helpful, because I actually need four and all. So now we are on to... We are on to basic... Hunting, which I knew this day was going to come. <laughs> so for hunting, we got to make ourselves a U-bow. So go out in this wild, find a U-tree, grab a branch, run for your life, <laughs> back to camp. Try to find... <laughs> try to find where it's not uh, a free spot. Not, I mean, find a free spot. Then you're going to whack it with a sharp stone. Boosh key. I don't know if it's going to show you if you hold it. Oh, it does. So see how it says, right here it says, U shaft with a rope. So we're going to head to the farm. I should have a lot of milkweed. I'm a good milkweed farmer. We're going to grab one that's not flowering, seeding, and then one that is. I already have a ton of seeds on the ground, but I just want to show you guys, you want to put seeds until we make a board a sign i meant just throw them on the ground now we're going to combine these together and we got ourselves a bow but we're not done here we need at least one arrow to go kill poor sir duckins he's my friend but i think i have i hope i have more than one sir duckins i don't know anymore but to make a um an arrow say you don't know how i want to say this will show you yeah so just scroll down till you see an arrow, click it, and it tells you you need a fletchling and a flint arrow. So just click one of these. The fletchling is you need a goose feather with a flint, and a flint arrowhead you need to use a sharp stone on a flint. So we're going to first make the flint arrowhead. So we're going to go over here, grab a flint, grab your sharp stone. You're going to whack it, and you made yourself an arrowhead. This is also good for a flint tip bow drill, which makes wheels, but we will do that later on. 
So I try to keep all my stuff together. Again, you want to be a little organized, if you can. I know everything's kind of thrown together right now, but <laughs> I'll have it cleaned up for the next stream. All right, so now you're going to go out there and you're going to find a sapling. I guess I should have showed you that too. So you need a sapling to make an arrow. So grab a sharp rock. And then go out there in the wilderness to find a sapling. We might actually have enough. Yeah, we have enough right here. So say I found a sapling and I hit it, it turns into a skewer. I'll click the skewer so you see. See if it turns into a... Yeah. See, that's a sapling. If you see those in the wild, hit it with your sharp stone to turn it into a skewer. And then you're going to bring this down here. And go, hmm, now what do I do? If you grab your bow, once again, go to the arrow. If you click on the arrow, I want to say it's going to show you, but it might not. Yeah, it does. So click on the arrow and see I said, see how it says tight skewer? Click the tight skewer and it'll tell you you need one thread on a skewer. So we're going to do that right now. So bring your skewer with you. Oh, here comes a commercial. <laughs> After these commercial breaks. So you only need one thread, guys. You don't need a rope. So grab your thread, put it on the skewer, and see how it kind of changed looking? That's the first part of your bow. I don't think you need the back. I think we can put the flint arrowhead on it now. Yep. Now your arrowhead and the tied skewer are together. So all you have left is a fletchling. So we got to go find Sir Duckins, the very guy we're going to murder. We won't let him know we're going to murder him, though. Shh. <laughs> He doesn't need to know. Hi, Sir Duckins. So in order to make the goose go into its pond, you got to remove the egg. And then you got to try to pet him. You go, oh, nice goose. So he will run into inside the pond like this. And he will lose a feather. Grab that feather and bring it over to your arrow. Now we're going to put it down. Once again, highlight it and it lets you know a flint chip will turn it into a, um, a fletchling. So now we're going to head up here. Grab my flint. Smack the feather. <laughs> and now we got a fletchling. Now we're going to put the flint back and eat some eggs. Delicious. Now we can combine the fletchling onto the rest of the arrow and you got yourself an arrow and then you just put you drag your arrow onto the bow and your girl will pick it up say you don't want to hold it highlight your character and scroll down and she'll drop it but now we have to go kill sir duckins <laughs> i'm so sad oh it says i love this game so much well thank you i do too uh the one beyond six six seven it's one of my absolute favorite games. I actually started playing it in August. And I will be honest with you. To this day, I am still learning how to play it. Sorry if that was a delayed response. Um, my sound isn't working. Because usually I hear a sound to let me know someone's chatting with me. But <laughs> I can't seem to get the sound to work on my phone. But everyone says they can hear the game. So that's all that matters to me. But yeah, this game's a lot of fun. This is the phone version, but both the PC version and the phone are so entertaining. I definitely recommend these games if no one's ever played them before. The phone's a little bit different than the PC uh, because the PC one's updated. I would say the phone one's basically the PC one from like four years ago <laughs> before it updated. Why you, Why is there a pig here? <laughs> I don't have an ass. It's alright. We'll, if I have time, we'll hunt that pig. <laughs> we'll beat him up. But welcome to the chat. I hope you were having a great day. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm still learning things to this day. There's just so much to learn. 
And unfortunately, this version of the game, there's things that you can't find on a craft wiki, which if I have time, I can show you guys the craft wiki. It will help you out. It's on, um, it's on. I should let you guys know about the craft wiki because it did help me a lot until I got to points where <laughs> you can't use it. So to cook Sir Duckins, rest well. I forgot to tell you, hit it with a flint and he will become naked. And you're going to grab it and it says we can either cook it in the hot adobe oven, which is up here. Or we can wait till the fire becomes um, cool fire. It's not going to show you, is it? Of course it won't show you. Or I can wait for this fire to become coals and cook it that way. But that's a nice steamy fire. So we are just going to cook it in the oven. But there's two ways to do it. So say if you are way ahead schedule in the forging and you don't have an uh, oven already, just cook it on a fire. But yeah, we have to wait for the fires to go out, but it's okay. <laughs> I still do this and people are like, you can't cook it. And I'm like, I know. So don't eat your duck, guys. A lot of people I see, I cook a duck and I, I set it down for two seconds because my person's hungry. They'll devour my duck. <laughs> I'm like, I needed that. So now go over to your chisel. I mean your filer, which is over here. And you're going to smother it. Now you can eat it. <laughs> so now you're like, okay, I got myself a nice oiled up filer. Can I use that to make a knife? No, you can't. Now it's greasy. How you gonna make a knife with a greasy file? So see how it says place your chisel on it? Oh, how is your goose? So now grab your chisel as it says, and you're gonna smack it on this. And now you go, okay, now what do I do? Grab your smithing hammer, which is way up here. And this is going to whack it into a nice file file. <laughs> See how it's not all orangey brown? You did it, guys. So proud. You made yourself a steel file, which will make, as you can see, a whole bunch of stuff. But we aren't going into the advanced forging. Just basic. Okay, we got ourselves the chisel. So now what we can do with this is we're going to hit our steel blades. The first thing we're going to make is a knife. So chisel that bad boy. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves a knife. And we're going to go over here. Grab one of these. Go find one of our sharp rocks out there in this world. Sharp stone. And then I believe it's a short shaft. And you got our, yourself a knife. So what you can do with knives is you can um, make bread. Yeah, now I can finally finish the bread. <laughs> On a cooking tutorial, I was trying to make <laughs> basic bread, but I made the wrong bread. So... We'll just go cut this while we're at it. I will re-show how to make that bread. <laughs> but you can also do, when you <laughs> when you have a knife, you can cook with it. Or you can also be a griefer. Don't be a griefer. Or if you want to kill a griefer, you can too. I don't recommend it. There is servers on the phone version where you can't kill people. But there's also servers where you can. You can stab them. <laughs> And now, um, say Baby Ranger was a griefer. You're murdering your griefer. See? Oh, but <laughs> you go, how dare you? How dare you, grief? You can also curse people, but I'm not going to curse Eternal because then she can't be born to me. So let's just pretend she's a bad person. She uh, killed all her sheep or she did something horrible. So... How dare you, Griefer? You can't run. And then a lot of people are going to be like, What happened? Blah, blah, blah. And you got to tell them what happened. Like, this person was killing babies or kidnapping children or, you know, purposely killing our resources. Blah, 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 blah. So they will become bloody bones. I can't do anything when I have a bloody knife. I can starve to death. <laughs> And you can't remove the bloody bones until bloody bones are, um, are not bloody anymore. But yeah, you can also cut sheep with them, but, <laughs> but yeah, please don't grief, guys. That's, it, it really ruins the game. Recently in the PC one, we had a horrible griefer come in and they, um, 
they literally extinct two towns a jungle town i don't know what their last name was and the dean's town really sad but so don't grieve because <laughs> then i i will get rid of you <laughs> But there we go. Well, you saw nothing. Old Granny. <laughs> Dude, this is decoration now. But now, <laughs> poor Baby Ranger. <laughs> I'll bury you. I feel bad. It was just for tutorial. But now let's make... <laughs> now let's make our saw. So to make the saw, we gotta file one of these into a knife. I mean, into a blade. But then you gotta use your filer one more time and it becomes like like stabby looking. That's the first part of the saw. So you're gonna wanna go out in the world and find yourself a curved stick. You're gonna turn it into a nice beautiful shaft. And then you're gonna combine these both together and you get yourself a saw. Very easy. Yay! So now we only have one more thing for the forge to show, which are the shears. So you're gonna take your filer once again, turn these into knives, it's technically blades, but you turn them into um, what looks like knives, but then combine them together like so. Oh, I thought a commercial was coming. I'm like prepping myself. <laughs> oh, a commercial is coming. You won't win commercial. So much for ad free. <laughs> but yeah, now you're gonna combine these together Hit it with your smithing hammer. Look at that, guys. You got yourselves shears. So what's great about shears is you you don't have to kill your sheep for wool. Um, just cut the wool, guys. Don't kill your sheep unless you really need to. But don't, don't do that. But you can open presents, though. You can also use flint. Uh, you can cut up your bonsai. Make it look spiffy. And you can do exactly what I said, which is going to trees and grabbing like a little tree leaf um, and planting trees. I really need to get a juniper closer to me. So, oh, I died. <laughs> Let us see what the baby ranger said. Oh, yeah. And when you kill someone in the game, it turns into like this bloody look. See, and now we can look at the chronicles to see what <laughs> they said. Oh, I had a great life. Then one day the Fire Nation attacked and Ma stabbed me. <laughs> the end. You say click you? Oh, I guess Jason comes in the corner if you kill somebody. <laughs> oh, it also tells you. Um, so what's nice about the PC version too is say if there's someone griefing and killing everyone. You can go to the Chronicles, and it will tell you exactly who kills you, too. So, see, it says, killed by Lady Forge, ID number, blah, 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 blah. So, if someone sees your ID, even if you have a new name, they will most likely know you're a troll. And, um, well, they can curse you. So, if you want to grief, just so you know, the, P uh, the PC, I said. The mobile version. Don't listen to me. The mobile version a little more up to date when it comes to griefers they they do not accept it a little harder on the phone unless you curse i mean i'm mixing them up mobile one pc one gosh <laughs> you have to curse the person first and then their name shows up in like black but this one right away if you have their id and you see a bloody mary looking thing you can do it but that was basic foraging, guys. I hope that helped you. Um, I like I said, I'll make it. I'll make it make a little more sense. <laughs> YouTube, I'll have it nice and cut up. Uh, make the stream a little more accurate. But I hope I hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, next up, we are going to learn how to. Baby Ranger haunts the camp now. Yes, they do. They haunt the camp forever and always. I'll, I'll probably bury you. I'll go back and clean up after the uh, stream. I'll bury you. <laughs> but the next stream... Hmm. The next stream, I'm probably going to teach you guys how to set up your fences. And probably, if it's not too long to set up fences, grab animals. 
I suck at hunting. I, <laughs> it's not that I, I don't know what to do. I just always get eaten, but we'll do our best. Hopefully Baby Ranger will come and help me too. But we're going to try to get um, pigs, sheep, let's see, pigs, sheep, and a horse maybe? And cows. Let's try to get all those. Pigs, sheep, horse, and cows. Horse is a It's not too hard to grab it. But we need a fence for all of them regardless. And I like to separate them. So. <laughs> I know someone we can raid. Uh, yeah, we can raid. Or we can. It all depends on the time. Because I do have to go to work later tonight. I do work overnight. It's 10, 11, 12. I think Eternal I'm going to do one public stream because I it's kind of the tradition. So I think we're going to go do a public stream real quick. I mean public play real quick. And then we will. We'll, we'll end it soon. But I it's tradition. I'm going to say I had a good life. <laughs> I had a great life. But yeah, it's really fun that you could do this on the Chronicles on the mobile version <laughs> I had a great life because I stopped my child we don't talk about that <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about me stabbing what about it guys I can't hear my game but I managed to keep babies alive I managed to survive on public server almost to 60 <laughs> we got our forge tutorial um, I think that was a good stream and like I said, I'll edit it so it'll make more sense <laughs> or easier to follow for YouTube. But I think I'm going to end it here. 